Chef Trees is both a Las Vegas native and a passionate chef. His perspective on Las Vegas as a culinary capital truly embraces its diversity and his love for his hometown. I was truly in good hands. Awesome, Chef. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. Love. Nice to see you. Yeah. I yeah. love this. Awesome. It gives like a completely different yeah. vibe. I wanted to have vibes of like Venice. They say if you can never leave the beach, like you have to bring something with you. Yeah, I like the vibe. I love how Thanks. open it is. It's yeah. so light and pretty. Just being a family restaurant, a community restaurant. Yeah. We're not trying to be fancy. We just cook good food. Well, obviously, I'm in good hands with you. So yeah. whatever you hand me, I'll eat. So let's get something right. to eat. Let's do it. Yeah. Yay. Enjoy. Feels like unlike anything I've felt walking into Vegas before. Right. I would totally bring my friends here. The cocktail and glass of wine. I'll have the Negroni. Hi, Felicia sounds good. Yeah, yeah, so all of these different cocktails are in season right now. As soon as they're gone, yeah. they're gone. Yeah. Like the wonderful person behind the bar right now is Keith. He is our lead barman. He ran the Douglas Room in San Francisco, one of the yeah. top 100 cocktail bars in the country. Yeah. Yeah. And just like an amazing person. Like these guys have full control of their bar oh, program. I love that. They, yeah. It's like freedom, creative freedom here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, amazing. Cheers. This is beautiful. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. It smells like lavender and blueberry. Oh, you probably should That's be a nice. yeah. yeah. It's amazing. So the first thing we have is our trout toast. <laughs> this is our version of a bagel and lox. Dylan chive schmear on the bottom. And then capers, shaved, rinsed, red onions. Gorgeous. Cool. And then this is our polenta. So wow. house ground polenta. We grind it down every couple days and make fresh polenta in house because the flavor of the corn is still there. It's still beautiful, right? So the porchetta benedict, shaved porchetta on toast, yeah. and then a poached egg and the chili, a collaborating chili hollandaise. Oh my gosh, wow. And then this one is our omelet. The smoked tomato, boars and cheese, all the happy in the world. Well, let's do it. Cool. I'm gonna put this on my plate. The porchetta is amazing. I'm gonna get into this yeah. omelet. The cheese in there is the Borsan cheese, which is fromage blanc with like garlic and black pepper. This is yeah. delicious. I know, right? Oh my God. But, I'm like, yeah. what's the best way of yeah. cracking? Yeah, cheese, cheese the crack. cheese cracker. That's the move right there. Yeah, that is yeah. the move. Sunny side up eggs, polenta, truffle braised mushrooms, and they're all happy. I love the water. texture that the, uh, the cheese adds to it, the yeah. like crunch. Every bite that I take, I get something new. Do you want to try this? I, I've, I've, I've had a few. Okay. <laughs> it's going to yeah, go and bite it. Yeah, this is the move. Cheers. This bread is... <laughs> That's good. I love the attention to detail and yeah. time and... Like, we like to say that, like, dishes need to be a complete thought. Yeah. One, just seeing what you've done with your food. I cannot wait for where you're taking me. Oh, we have so many fun things to if do. This is like the preview. Yeah. Holy cow. I cannot wait. Thing. Brunch was incredible. And James suggested that next we head over to Onse inside Grand Canal shops at the Venetian Resort, Las Vegas for a cocktail and appetizer. This place is so pretty. I know, I love the jungleness of it all. Yes. Do you feel like you are not in a hotel? Yeah, it's its own little oasis in here. I love that. Yeah. Well, tell me why you chose Anse, like... Well, this is kind of a great place because Ricardo Zarate is like the godfather of Peruvian food in America. Yes. Rather than doing something that's Japanese and approachable, he can do yeah. something that's truly Peruvian yeah. and still approachable. Yeah. And the chef of this space actually started as one of my dishwashers. It's like coming home to family. That's really, really special. I'm like, what do you like to drink when you come here? Is there any... I want to drink whatever they want to make me. Yes. Here they're like, well, guess what? We're going to make you something awesome. So what is this handsome little cocktail? This is the Nippon Cobbler here. Amazing. Nippon so this is going to be vodka with yuzu juice, yuzuri okay. liqueur, a little bit of honey, and then topped with blueberry sake. Recall. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Amazing. Oh, wow. Yeah. I like it's got this some gin in there, huh? It's that bracing acid. Yeah. Along with that mild sweetness and the overlay of the alcohol. Like, even that alone is so balanced in its own way. Once you have it with the food, 
like you get the sense of what this restaurant is. Yeah. And yeah. really like I leave myself in their hands almost every time I come here just to see like what they're doing and what they actually are really happy that they're serving. Is this what we're going to do? We're just going to let Absolutely. them let like, it roll? Like let all the good dice. things, just like, yeah, like let it happen. <laughs> we have the big eye tuna sashimi, the kizami leche de tigre, grated black truffle, shiso leaf, edible flowers, and pop quinoa. Amazing. Enjoy. Thank you. Great. That's what that aroma yeah. is, that truffle. He's found addictive qualities in his food. Every few weeks, I'm like, I think I need one of those. Yeah. <laughs> it's got some bite. Exactly. Well, it's a great bite. Yeah. It's light. It's acidic. It's a beautiful starter for any adventure. We're right in the middle of Las Vegas, so wherever we go, it's going to be close. It's a perfect location. Yeah. Let's Cheers. drink up. Let's drink up. <laughs> we got a full dinner ahead. <laughs> Our final stop of the night was at Cleaver, the largest steakhouse off the Strip that offers craft cocktails and a late night menu. This yeah. place is so cool. You can find the most amazing food in a strip the most ball. unassuming yeah. place. I see Las Vegas as being this very small town. Everyone knew everybody. My dad is a honky tonk guy, so he was the honky tonk That's rock and roll incredible. guy. And so everywhere we went, everyone like you walk up and they'd hand you a Shirley Temple, and you'd be like, yeah. <laughs> Shirley Temple's, yes, yeah. those were my favorite. When I was, when a, kid, I was a kid, when I was a kid yeah. it made me feel right? all elegant. Yeah, right? I love that. Exactly. <laughs> so now that we're, you know, talking about yeah. cocktails, what is your favorite cocktail here? Oh, uh, that is the Trinidad Sour. Ooh. Yep. I love yeah. that. Awesome. Enjoy. Cheers. All right, cheers. Cheers. Yep. This is delicious. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, well yeah. played there. Now I'm, yeah. I'm very interested in this menu as well. Right. The scariest yeah. part about Steakhouse Mini for me is I'm not a big steak eater. When okay. I come here, I hang out at the bar and I eat yeah. the apps. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Uh, awesome. Look at that. Oh my God, that smells so good. Right? It's a combination of fried crawfish, blue cheese, and spicy capicola. Just super delicious. Their steak tartare, just prime steak that's been diced like perfectly. Yeah. And then fried capers, a little bit of shaved egg yolk on top, and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I eat. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. I love a good foie. Yeah. Can't Speaking my like language. That. Foie gras with sweet potato pancakes. There's a little blackberry jam and then sour cream. Those three things are things I find myself just ordering over and over and over again here. So I'm gonna, sorry, yep. I'm one of those people oh, no, it's all good. that documents all of my yep. food experiences. If you give me a piece of pizza and I can't fold it, it's not pizza, yeah. It's like that perfect right. texture of like crispy and soft. Yeah, and it's just that little bit of the crunch from the crawfish. Yeah. And then you get the bite of the blue cheese and it's so unexpected with the steak tartare. I'm just a huge fan of the combination of the fried capers and how light they treat the meat on this one. So it's I just like, get in there. it's amazing too. And it actually has like the right crunch, the right amount of soft, the when right you chew. you can hear the crunch, yeah. it's, it's the right crunch. Yeah, it's that is the right crunch, right? This is one of the few foie gras dishes I'll come back and eat over and over again in the really? city. Really? Yeah, makes you happy. Those pancakes are crazy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, those bits of salt. Right? <laughs> It's the sweet potato pancake, mm -hmm. the salt, and then like the sour cream and chive kind of vibe on the side. Oh my it's out gosh, of control. so good. Yeah. This is so good. Yeah. And I can completely understand why this is like your, your one, it's your favorite place to come. Right. It's so beautiful. Thank you so much for oh introducing gosh. me to Cleavers and for this amazing day. I can't tell you how uh, wonderful it is to be able to share my favorite places in Vegas with you. Like from somebody that is born and raised here, brought your talents here. Mm -hmm. Esther was fantastic. Thank you. Loved Onse as well. And then this is just like the treat. Like I feel like I'm, you know, at home here. Right. This is wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Chef Trees is both a Las Vegas native and a passionate chef. His perspective on Las Vegas as a culinary capital truly embraces its diversity and his love for his hometown. I was truly in good hands.